For the longest time, if a singer were in something like a major movie or a TV show, it was as a silly cameo or a camera winky acknowledgement of their own strangeness, or for the more transparent reason of simply hyping up their current new hotness music career. And while that's definitely still the case more often than not, we're slowly entering this era where the pop star sensation is allowed to branch out into different ventures outside of what's expected of them. For musicians starring in serious dramas being the norm rather than the single isolated exception, Mariah Carey playing a supporting role in Precious or Jennifer Lopez co-starring in Hustlers just goes to prove that the accepted scheme of pop idols is slowly changing. Rather than the pristine models churned out to influence and sell things at you, pop idols are beginning to act as real deal people, independent of their stage persona. And the various projects they're taking on aren't just the blatantly weird or flashy media hype beasts of yore, but these thoughtful and nuanced roles, not meant to sell themselves, but to better support the project in question, and maybe even get new audiences into genres they've never considered before. I mean, don't get me wrong, at the end of the day they're still super hot and their fame is gonna brush off on these projects in one way or another, but like, it's in a way that isn't so blatantly laser-targeted for my wallet, which is a stark contrast to how it's been in the past. Enter Lee ji Yoon, better known as IU, Korean pop singing sensation, occasional TV actress personality, advertising guru extraordinaire, and all-around cutie cute cute. Like most K-pop performers of the modern age, she's able to pivot flawlessly between genres, taking on saccharine levels of pop songs, smooth jazz, and even electronic rock collabs produced in secret. That's neat. But while she definitely fits the archetype of a pop star, what IU and many other modern performers of this era are realizing is the amount of freedom that they have as a famous person. Where celebrities of the 90s saved the whales, and celebrities of the early 2000s went the opposite direction of therapy, today's celebrities seem to acknowledge the sheer amount of options that they have at their fingertips, all while keeping in mind the decisions made of their celebrity forefathers. They acknowledge that they're going to be under the public eye, but rather than leaning into that aspect or rebelling from it, they've begun taking a more middling and mentally healthy decision of just doing what they like. While IU isn't exactly new to acting, it has taken a while for her to take on a project that veered onto that path less traveled. From 2011 to 2018, she's been on a variety of sitcoms and dramas to about as much fanfare as you'd expect from any pop star. Add to that the sheer amount of music videos backing up her musical career since her debut in 2008, and she's not exactly a stranger to the screen. Of particular note is her 2014 collaboration with alternative artist Seo Taiji on the single So Kyok Dong. Made as a pre-release single for Taiji's album Quiet Night, So Kyuk Dong had two separate music videos made for it, providing the male and female perspective of a young couple growing up in the 80s during South Korea's rule under dictator Chun Do Hwan. Even with no knowledge of the Korean language, the song itself is equal parts melancholic and eerie. Both music videos illustrate this almost picturesque, sepia-toned image of the past, only to slowly crumble into a more historically accurate depiction, filled with paranoia and fear for the uncertain. The music and the lighting blacking out as the cast enacts a time-accurate air raid drill still gives me goosebumps. But it wasn't until 2019 that IU really digs her heels into more atypical media with Netflix's anthology series Persona. Split up into four episodes, the series stars IU in varying roles and stories, demonstrating the depths of the human psyche as a single actor portraying the wild mishmash of the human experience. Which is my fancy way of saying it's meant to show off how legit IU's acting is. Like, let her start drama with Duna Bay like it ain't no thing. Look at her angry chomp the apple, she's so cute! <laughs> Being an anthology series, you're not expected to fall in love with every entry, but the idea of having a single actor serve as a thorough line is an interesting enough wrinkle to this project. As we jump from episode to episode, the characters IU plays are so starkly different from each other to the point that you really do believe that you're seeing a different person with each story. Like, just compare the character from the Collector episode with the one from Kiss Burn. In Collector, IU plays an over-demanding deceitful woman, using her feminine wiles to wrap men around her finger to use and toss aside at any moment's notice. Compare that with Kiss Burn where she's a dopey kid that has a suspicious amount of chicken on her person. The performances are at such polar opposites that you'd think these were two separate people entirely, and that's the point. At the risk of stating the obvious, there are as many experiences as there are people in this world, and even with the shared experiences of your peers, there will still be just enough of a variance between their actions and yours that make each instance unique. Likewise, it's the pop star's job to perform for the public, but it isn't their only job. 
They can exist as a person outside your realm of idol worship because at their core, they're still just a person. A person with free will, hopes, dreams, and passions that they'd like to share with you. And maybe you won't always enjoy their ventures, but what matters is they made that attempt at a connection that you may have never had otherwise. And I find that strange and beautiful. <laughs>